Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce you to Greg Mund, who has worked with Tanya in the effort to clean up White Lake. Greg is retired from the United States Department of Agriculture. a lot of ditto to what's been spoke here today. So some of this is going to be redundant, and I apologize for that. But I met Tanya in the mid-80s or so, when your kids and my kids were doing soccer together. And uh, shortly after that, when she was with the Lake Michigan Federation, formed the two areas of concern public advisory councils for Fort Mosquito Lake and here at Whiteland, of which through the last 20, you know, that's too many years to be working on a project, but finally, as everybody knows, got it delisted as an area of concern in the Great Lakes uh, some three years ago, uh, the end of this month, as I recall. Uh, some of the things that I really want to do point out, though, is uh, Tanya's values. You know, that she's a firm believer in fairness, in people. It really, it really does show in the community from the standpoint of, and, and doing what's right is what I think really stands out with Tanya's uh, inherent values. <clears throat> when it comes to leadership, as I mentioned, you know, she started both the public advisory councils that serves, well, we're kind of unique. I think Muskegon County is the only county in the state that, well, Wayne County might have a couple more areas of concern. But uh, And the other thing is, you know, with her leadership, uh, it's service to others, and I think Tanya really does an excellent example of that. Uh, her whole career that I've known has always been in service to others, whether it's the community or individuals, working with uh, local units of government as a local unit of government leader at the same time. She's worked with state level as well as federal level uh, elected officials, but more so the staff to get things done. Um, I think one thing that stands out, she has the capacity to listen to both sides. She has that uh, unique quality to listen to other people's opinions and views, whether it's an agreement or not, you know, that's always up to anyone. But she has that capacity to listen and then reform if it's such, you know, whether it's her own opinion, but more than likely it's the other person's opinion that will tend to change. Uh, excellent at organizing grassroots organizations as well as statewide with the work that she's done along the Lake Michigan dunes. Very instrumental in various legislation as well as continued work. And I'm glad to see that she'll be our representative for that. Um, and I think the one thing too is uh, humility is another value that I wanted to point out because she has that capacity to learn from mistakes but at the same time uh, learn from other people's mistakes and not point that out to them at the same time. Uh, Tanya's extensive knowledge and communication skills are something that are, do serve her well and it will serve our community well. And with that, I forgot what I was going to start out with, is that it is an honor and a pleasure you know, to be here today, but to offer my support and endorse Tanya for the 91st uh, representative, our representative. Uh, in closing, uh, this is kind of sticking my head out there, but Go State. <laughs> so this is what I'd like to say about that. I'd like to say, go blue, go, go green. <laughs> Politician. <laughs>